asked me for time, and I gave it to him. Oh, Spock. As a child, I had what my mother called nightmares. The nightmares have returned. The same vision, again and again. I now understand its meaning and where it must lead me. I have encoded it within this audio file, in the event of my death. Spock has had this tablet since he was a boy. I took it from his quarters. He drew these signals two months before they appeared to us. It's damn near identical. I believe this is connected to the Red Angel. Spock saw it and the seven signals before they appeared to us. That is when the Angel first appeared to me. I thought it was a dream, a premonition. It showed me your death. Spock can understand me. I jumped back into his childhood and warned him about Michael dying in the forest. I haven't been able to communicate with anyone else. And his dyslexia allows him to process the effects of atemporal dysplasia. And all of time, Spock may be the only person who can help me. Is the Angel a time traveler? The engineering comprehension necessary to build its suit would suggest so. And some of the memories it shared with me have yet to occur. Still, the thoughts I received from within it were human. There was loneliness, desperation, another dream, another premonition. I now understand its meaning and where it must lead me. It guided me to a remote planet and showed me the end. My mind to your mind. Somehow you reported them before they appeared. Tell us what the signals mean. I don't know about any signals. In the sky? Seven simultaneously, and then each one led us. I said I know nothing about them. Time Crystal and Dr. Burner's suit was destroyed, there's no way she could have come back to create that signal. And she said she had no knowledge of them. Which would suggest these signals were created by another time-traveling entity. These signals could only have been set by an individual with access to a time suit and knowledge of our specific circumstances. We believed your mother was the only red angel. Her efforts were focused entirely on these sphere data. She stated that she did not set the signals. Therefore, you did. He drew these signals two months before they appeared to us. Spock saw it and the seven signals before they appeared to us. In all of time, Spock may be the only person who can help me. No! In the images I saw, in the mind world. These signals. Somehow you reported them before they appeared. I don't know about any signals. I only wish I could be certain of your safety. You will. I'll send the last signal. I will watch the stars for it. Continuous regeneration of energy will ultimately overwhelm the structural integrity of the crystal, causing it to burn out. Meaning I can take discovery to the future, but I won't be able to come back. It's a one-way trip. I saw in the mind world these signals. I don't know about any signals. I know nothing about them. Illogical! 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 <laughs> this will be the third time you're going to be removed from your time frame. If we do it a fourth, there could be certain side effects. You might experience sensory aphasia. It affects the cerebral cortex and can lead to temporal psychosis.